The battle between the trade unions, the government and the British public continue as one of the teaching unions fail to get the consent of their members for another strike. Right, so over the last um, few months, we've had this debate because of the cost of living crisis that we had and the energy security crisis. There's a lot of issues. Inflation's gone up and it is eventually going to be going down anyway because of the way the system works. But a lot of people are suffering. So some people might be in the public sector. A lot of people who are suffering on the private sector and they can't really go on strikes. That's not how it works. But is it not really in defense of the trade unions or the government? And it's, it's simply about the actual workers and the taxpayers. That's all I care about. Now, when people say, well, these public sector workers who are campaigning and then alongside the unions, that means they're representing all workers. That's not true. Um, but of course, they are still um, um, struggling with their pay. Uh, so they have demands. Now, the teaching unions, they everything is about spin. And that's the problem with the whole system. Politicians and government departments do the spin and the trade unions do their own spin. This is a situation where yesterday, one of the teachers' unions failed to get the consent of their members, but they still managed to spin it somehow. So NASWT, the teachers' union, uh, they uh, did the ballot, and uh, not many people turned up to actually vote because uh, they didn't really care. They said our ballot turnout was 42% higher than the turnout or to elect the prime minister and 7% higher than the average local government election turnout. But, <laughs> but the government's anti-trade union laws will block teachers from taking action uh, to win a fair pay. Um, you didn't have enough people to vote for it. They didn't, they didn't vote yes. That's, that's the reality. You, you need at least about around half to actually come out. That's just, that's just common sense. You know, I know there's this battle between the ideological Tories saying, well, we need more restrictions for trade unions. And then some other people on the other side say, well, that's too restrictive. This is just common sense. And it applies to many other normal civilized countries. You need a bit of a, 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 a actual limit threshold to get people to say yes to be the majority of the membership of the trade unions. But they lost it. And then they still say, well, we did lose, but it is still 42% higher than blah, blah, blah. <laughs> This is the statement that they um, released. It is clear that our members are sending a strong message to the government on the need to address teachers' pay concerns. Literally the opposite happened. Okay. Whilst the government's anti-trade union legislation prevents members in state-funded schools and colleges from taking industrial action, we remain in formal disputes with ministers and employers and will be continuing to take forward our campaigning for a better deal for teachers. Fair enough. And teachers, you know, get, get better pay. I'm not against it. And I'm not really in favor of government departments making a mess. But they said they, the readiness of our members to support industrial action demonstrates the anger of the profession and the need for governments in England and Wales to engage in meaningful negotiations to address the deep concerns of our members. Our, um, our campaign to fight for the real terms pay awards uh, that uh, award that teachers and head teachers deserve continue. Well, they didn't. They didn't come out to give you the consent. That's the whole point of your ballot. You get them to vote yes. They didn't vote yes, and you lost. And then you still say that no, no, no. But the ones who voted yes, the ones who bothered to turn up to vote, they they represent all of them. Not saying that all the other teachers who didn't bother to vote or say uh, vote yes. Uh, are fine with their, their pay. That's not really the point of this argument. The point of this argument is that procedure matters, process matters. And if you're unhappy, get your lovely Labour Party to get into government and do whatever you want. That's democracy. I mean, the country will be <laughs> a bit of a mess under Labour, even more than the Tory government. It's, <laughs> it's very, very hard to compare the, the current Tory government and the future Labour government because a lot of similarities will be appearing out of nowhere. But let's not pretend that the Labour government will be absolutely chaotic as well. So that is the truth. That is my truth. Listen to my truth. Anyway, we'll take a quick break. We have more news updates for you guys today. Subscribe to the channel. I'm Maya Tusi and we are the media.